Hi there. I'm Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net, and thank you for joining us to learn how to hedge your U.S. dollar investments using currency options. Canadian investors who are looking at diversifying their portfolio may elect to increase their exposure to the U.S. market by purchasing U.S. securities. By doing so, they expose themselves to two types of risk, market risk and currency risk. This video will be focused on how currency risk can be partially or completely offset using currency options. Prior to looking at examples, let's first review the characteristics of the USX options listed on the Montreal Exchange. A currency option is priced based on a pair value which reflects an exchange rate between two currencies. USX options reflect the US dollar's strength or weakness in relation to the Canadian dollar. The value reflects how much one U.S. dollar is worth in Canadian dollars. The U.S. dollar is considered the base currency. Let us now look at how currency risk manifests itself. The value in Canadian dollars of a U.S. dollar equity portfolio would decrease as the U.S. dollar depreciates against the Canadian dollar. When investors believe that the U.S. dollar will decline, the purchase of a put would be used as a hedging strategy. In this case, USX put options would be selected. The strike price and the expiration month would be selected based on the investor's forecast. As the US dollar decreases against the Canadian dollar, the put option should increase in value and partially or completely offset the currency risk. The first step is to determine how many options to purchase in order to meet the investor's hedging objectives. This is accomplished by first dividing the amount of US dollars to be hedged by the contract size of the option. Once this value is determined, the investor will divide this number by the delta of the selected option contract. Let's now look at an example. Let's assume a Canadian investor is holding $50,000 in US securities in a portfolio. The US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate is at 1.0600 which would represent 106 since the USX strike prices are expressed in cents. A two-month at-the-money 106 strike put has a delta of 0 0.50 and the investor wishes to hedge 50,000 US dollars. To determine the appropriate number of put option contracts to buy, the investor would divide the 50,000 US dollars by the USX contract size of 10,000 US dollars. A value of 5 is obtained. The investor would then divide the result by the unique delta of the 106 strike put, which is 50. Based on these calculations, the investor would purchase 10 put option contracts. The investor has now determined that 10 put option contracts are required to hedge the U.S. portion of the portfolio. The two-month 106 strike put option is trading at 2.10. The investor would pay $210 per contract for a total cost of $2,100 for 10 contracts. Note that commission is not included as it may vary from one brokerage firm to another. With the exchange rate hovering at 1.06, the $50,000 US dollar portfolio would be worth $53,000 Canadian. Now if the exchange rate was to drop to 1.01, .01, the portfolio would be worth $50,500 Canadian. The net value of the portfolio would decrease by 2,500 Canadian dollars due to the drop in the exchange rate. Let's now determine the value of the put options. To determine the value of the put option contract on expiration, the investor must establish the difference between the strike price of the put options and the Bank of Canada noon rate and then multiply the difference by the trading unit of each contract. The strike price of the option was 106 and the Bank of Canada noon rate is now 1.0100. In this example, the settlement value is determined to be $500 per contract. The investor purchased 10 contracts, resulting in a position value of $5,000. After considering the initial cost of the put options, the investor has generated a profit of $2,900. Remember that USX options are cash settled in Canadian dollars. Remember that the initial value of the portfolio was $53,000 Canadian. The drop in the exchange rate caused the portfolio to decline by an amount of $2,500 Canadian. Provided that the value of the underlying assets in the portfolio has not changed, the portfolio is now worth $50,500 Canadian. 
On the other hand, the put options have increased in value by an amount of $2,900. With the USX options being cash settled, that amount is credited to the USX put holders trading account. By adding this profit to the current portfolio value, the portfolio is now worth $53,400 Canadian. The investor has successfully offset the currency risk associated with holding U.S. dollar assets. Let's now consider an increase in the U.S. dollar value versus the Canadian dollar. Once again, the starting value of the portfolio is determined to be $53,000 Canadian based on an exchange rate of 1.06. If the exchange rate increased to 1.12, the portfolio would be worth 56,000 Canadian dollars. The net value of the portfolio would increase by 3,000 Canadian dollars due to the rise in the exchange rate. Due to the increase in the US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate, the portfolio value increases by 3,000 Canadian dollars. Provided that the value of the underlying assets in the portfolio has not changed, the portfolio is now worth 56,000 Canadian dollars. However, at expiration, the put options are considered out of the money and would expire worthless. The option holder would consequently lose the 2,100 Canadian dollar premium initially paid for the option contracts. The net value of the portfolio would now be 53,900 Canadian dollars. The increase in the exchange rate has offset the loss on the put option position and the investor has successfully hedged their currency risk.